We're now in July. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You know, I'm in a much better place, both physically and mentally. You know, uh, kind of a little excited to get back out there after all this uh, interesting months that's been behind us. So it's, uh, it's, it's good to be back. What was it like, like for you when said to you that you tested positive? Do you remember I mean, for that moment? Me, I, I remember. Uh, it's almost like I was kind of in disbelief because I really didn't think that I, I, can't, I could have it. You know, it was a. Uh, uh, I was kind of surprised, to be honest, because just by the symptoms that I had, you know, for me it was just a regularly look, like a small cold. And uh, then I tested positive, and then, then a few days later, I started to have like different symptoms that came. So like the loss of, loss of smell, of taste, and that kind of stuff. And that's when I, I realized that it wasn't just a regular cold. Yeah, you said that, uh, like, I was going to ask you, what were your symptoms? At first, it was just normal cough? Uh... I just had one day of, like, fever the day. So the day, the day when we left to, to Oklahoma City, that's when I had a, you know, a little cold. Uh, like I had a thousand times in my life. And I, what I usually do is... Uh, you know, uh, I drink my tea in the morning and uh, just go to the gym and, uh, and kind of like sweat it out. And, you know, and usually a few hours later, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And, uh, and uh, that night we got to OKC. I tested uh, for the flu and some other viruses and they, it came out negative. So that's when the, the training staff decided to test me for the COVID-19. You said to me that it was scary. What was the scariest part for you? I think the unknown you know, and uh, see what was going on. You know, I, I look into a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, I'm very curious about a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, I know people kind of like different places in the world. So I was kind of talking with people in Italy, talking with people in France, even in China. And, uh, you know, try to find as much information as I could to, to try to help myself, you know, try to see what can I do to make, to make it better, to kind of like cure myself. And, uh, all while being away from my family because my family was stuck in France and uh, my mom was by herself in France, you know, uh, she was really worried about me and she couldn't come over, so, and I didn't want her to come over once I, I tested positive. And you were saying how, like, you would go to sleep and be worried, am I going to wake up because there was so much we didn't know. Especially when, you know, when we found out that you had young people that had almost no symptoms that were getting having strokes, you know, that's when I, when I read the article, I, my, I had my heart kind of locked a little bit, and I was like, that was a little, a little scary, but, you know, uh, I'm glad that I had people around me that were supporting me, and, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I'm in a much better space now. When you look back and think about the fact that it was, it was when you tested positive that sports shut down, kind of the world turned upside down, uh, not that you did anything, but you were the guy that everyone remembers as being that catalyst for, whoa, wait, we have to stop. Everything has to stop. What do you think about that? I mean, uh, my positive test was kind of the, the domino that made, you know, Adam Silver and, and then the, all the other sports leagues to kind of shut down. I mean, European football leagues already shut down uh, a few days before that. But uh, in America, in North America, like, that was the first, you know, domino to fall, and, you know, I think a lot of guys, you know, probably had it before, but, you know, I was the first to test positive, and I think that was a good start, that was a good sign, that was the, like, the red light for the NBA to say that we got to stop this, you know, we can prevent many lives from being uh, uh, affected from this, so let's stop it now and, and see what happens. How long before you started to feel better? Uh... I think has my mind starting to feel better, my body started to feel better too, and uh, probably before I was like way better, probably two months, you really? know, but I didn't have no fever, I didn't have no, I didn't go to the hospital or nothing, I think it was just those, those you know, seeing all these articles and maybe I should have stayed away from that, you know, but like talking to, to people that had you know, the family is affected too, and try to, you know, be positive. And it was a, it was a tough experience, but you know, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm glad that 
I had the right people around me and, uh, and that I'm healthy today. And when the NBA said that they were going to restart, why did you want to play? Uh, you know, I was questioning that for a while. And the, the, the good thing is I had a lot of time to, we had a lot of time to think that through. And, you know, like, is, is basketball really important at this moment when every, all, that, all that is going on? And not just the COVID, but, you know, social justi justice and everything that's going on. And, and then when you think about it, you, you realize that, you know, it's, it's also a good opportunity for us to use our platforms and, and also, like we said, you know, with all the money that's, that's been made, not just for us, but for the owners, for everyone, there's a lot of good things to do for our communities. And, you know, when I really thought about that, uh, it made me feel more confident about going back out there and, and, and play. Do you have any concerns at all for your health? to go out and play, specifically regarding COVID? Regarding like, COVID? I might get it again. <laughs> I mean, I've been through it once, so if I get it again, it's almost like, you know, uh, I mean, first of all, I, 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 we st I feel like we still don't know if it's a chronic disease or if it's a disease that just goes away and you can maybe get it again a few years later or maybe a few months later on just never. So we just, I feel like this is still very unclear. But no, I'm, I would say that I'm taking all the precautions uh, necessary to kind of like protect myself, my family, and others. But at the same time, you know, uh, uh, I think the most important thing is to be in your right mindset and not be fearful of, you know, of that if you take the necessary precautions.